Today we're going to talk about how to bring up Christ in a dark world. How to do it. Tips. That's right. I don't know about you, but I'm kind of an intro introvert type of person. Like, I don't like going up to strangers. I don't like just initiating conversation. Once it's already initiated, I'm good. Right. But I don't like just kind of barging in and saying, hey, what's up? Or I don't, it's not me. Right. But there's been some techniques that we've discussed and things that you've done, things that my brother has done. I'm going to go ahead and start off with that one. One day, my brother, you know, he, he works for a coin company. And he said, bro, I always like to end it on this. God bless you. And I, every time, in any conversation I have, I'm saying, God bless you. And I said, man, that's so simple. But think about it. A God blessed? God, you need, maybe you need blessing in your life and your health. Maybe your spiritual health. Maybe you need to get closer to God. Right. God bless them to have a closer walk with Jesus. And who knows? Who really needs that blessing? But you can have that conversation not just on the phone, but in public. That's right. When you're walking with somebody and you're, you're ending a conversation, let's say at your grocery store, and you say, all right, well, God bless you. That's right. You're leaving it on a God note. Amen. You're leaving it on a, a, a Jesus note. Amen. Now, you got a good one that starts it out. Oh, well, let's hear it. You know, there's no, there's no other name more powerful than the name of Jesus, right. right? Oh, my gosh. Don't you just love that? I love that because I would I do not rely on man but only on Jesus. Amen. That's right. So for me, what I've been doing uh, lately, you guys, man, it is so effective. And you really kind of, you know, God says to let our light shine. That's right. And we don't put our candle in the closet or under our bed. We go on top of the hillside and we let it shine bright. That's right. right. And so what's been working for me, guys, anytime that you want to strike up a conversation about Jesus, I wanted to say, I love this part. Somebody always says, hey, well, have a good day. Mm -hmm. Or, hope you all have a good day. Yeah. Or, how you doing? How are you doing? And I always do, do it. I always say, I'm doing great today. All because of Jesus. Amen. Amen. All because of Jesus. So simple. It's so simple. And it lets them know exactly where you stand with the Lord. Amen. And you'll be so surprised. The reaction that you get sometimes. Sometimes people will look at you yeah. like you're a little strange. Right. And then uh, sometimes people will go, Oh, hey, brother, I'm so glad I got a yeah. chance to meet right. you. And then you just start talking about Jesus right there and bringing up scripture. Yeah, that happened to me this morning awesome. at the gym. The guy that was, uh, he was an older man, he was in there. And uh, he just said, and that's how it struck up the conversation was, he said, How are you doing today? And I said, I'm doing great all because of Jesus. And his hands went up in the air with a big old smile. That's awesome. <laughs> and we were able to get a good conversation in because of that. And so um, I want to encourage you guys to do the same. That's it's so right. easy when someone says, how are you doing today? Just, you know, say, I'm doing great. Yes. I woke up this morning. I'm breathing. Right. I'm moving. Right. And I'm going. I'm moving toward God's will wherever he leads me. Amen. And I'm doing great today all because of Jesus. Amen. Amen. And now they're thinking about Jesus. That's right. Now, it, it, whether they believe in him or not, they're thinking about him. That's right. And if we're not so focused on what we got to go and get done and be back home and it's all about me and what I got to do, but we're focused on the mission, right. then we will be situationally aware of things like that. Like, who can I talk to right now? Where's this open door going to be? That's right. Well, God, God may have me positioned here for such a time as this. That's right. And if I can just figure out how to open the door to that and talk to them, that's right. God may just boom, bust that door wide open, boom, there you go. God's will's being done. That's right, that's right. And Duck, you guys always like, uh, I know for a while, there were many years that I was just, I would like, before I went to bed at night, I think, okay, this is what I got to do in the morning. Yeah. I need to take care of this first. I need to write a list of all the things that I need to do. Right. It was always about a list of what I needed to do for my day to feel accomplished. But you know what, guys? It's not even nothing like that now for me. Good. It's about, Jesus, what do you need me to do yes. Or How can you use me tomorrow morning when I wake up? Put me in the right place I need to be. Open that door where I need to be to do more of your work. That's Amen. Right. And so... God provides. I know. Like we were talking about the birds and feeding the birds. They don't worry about what they're going to wear or what they're going to eat. But 
God provides for them. And how much more important are we than the birds? That's right. Even though He recognizes every, even the sparrow, the, the smallest sparrow that might die, He knows. And that's not to say He doesn't love His creation, but He does love us. Amen. And He will provide for us. That's Amen. Right. And here, listen to this one. So when Jesus was maybe about 10 to 12 years old, he was he ran off from his mom and dad to go to the temple. And he was there talking with the Pharisees, talking with the teachers and scribes. And he was just, boom, he was talking about the Word of God. And they were all astonished. But here comes mom. She's been scared. Where are you, where are you at? Why, why did you do this to her? Right. And he said, you didn't realize I must be about my father's business? Right. And that was at a young age. Jesus was always about his father's business. Amen. And that's what we can learn from that. Amen. Everywhere we go, we're always about the father's business. Not our own. Yes, we can take care of business, but we're always in the back of our mind thinking, what can I do for God today? Matter of fact, before I even get out of bed, I say, God, show me what you want me to do for you today. That's right. Every day I say, I want God to show me and open that door of opportunity because He will. Yes, He will. He's waiting for willing vessels. So you got to be willing. You got to be willing. And sometimes it takes that little bit of faith yes. and stepping out and going yes. and showing Jesus, hey, I'm I'm asking that I be in Your will to do what You want me to do today, to do whatever I need to do right. today. But sometimes Jesus just sits back a little bit and says, okay, well. How are you going to do it? Show me. Yeah. Show me that you want me to be in your will. And when you take that first little step, you know, and you're waiting, right. and you take that first little initiative step to put all your faith in Him yes. and do what you need to do. And it can be just speaking to other people. It can be, like I said, talking, striking up a conversation right. about Jesus. Jesus see you doing that, and then He will start opening up those other doors where you need to be Amen. at the right time. But see, it's that first initiative. He wants to see that you're saying, ah, oh, because of Jesus, right. and striking up those conversations with other people, other saints, right? And then He just starts giving you more, and giving you more, yeah. more and giving you more, and giving you more, and amen, and amen, and amen, and then your heart is just full of His love right. that you have to share with others. That's right. And, and if you think about being in these end times, how important is it to share that with the world? Amen. If you know that people are literally dropping dead and going to hell, then just stepping out of your comfort zone to reveal Christ to the world and, and speak Jesus and the gospel yes. and His word yes. to that dark world, that's so much more important than your comfort zone. Yes, amen. Because we are literally in a soul war, and so it's a battle all around us. It is. And you know what, guys? We gotta have our helmet. We gotta have our buckler. We gotta have our sword. We gotta have our shield. We gotta have all those things, right? Amen. Because we are in a spiritual warfare right now. And look, how do we how do we battle those wars? How do we battle those wars? We battle those wars by reading God's word every day. He is. His words right. gives us everything we need to accomplish anything we need. Amen. Amen. That's what Jesus did. When he was attacked in the wilderness, when he was fasting for those 40 days and 40 nights, the devil was tempted him every day. We only hear about the last three, but it says he was tempted every day. That's right. And what Jesus did, at least by the three that we saw, you know he did the other ones too, is he quoted the word every time. He slung his sword at the devil. And then it says the devil left. That's right. That's how you get the devil to leave you alone. Start shooting the word of God at him. Start swinging your sword and fight back. That's man. right. That's right. That's right. Even when we have those thoughts, okay? Yeah, you yes. know, Jesus says, not covet any man's possessions. Right. Whether it's his wife, whether it's his cattle, whether it's this, whether it's his car. Right. Don't want that things if it's another man. Amen. And you know what? I want to tell you that little thought came up in my mind the other day. And I was saying, Jesus, stop this right now in the name of the Lord. Amen. I do not want anything that man's got. Right. That's right. Amen. <laughs>
Matter of fact, God might have something way better for you. Oh man. If it's his will, he might provide something that you didn't even expect coming. That's right. And you were lusting after somebody else's when God already had yours in the way. Oh, amen. You just need that. to be patient. Amen. Amen <laughs> to that. And you know what? See how that little thought, that little thought crept up in my mind, right? And I shut it down right there. I shut it down on God's word. And you know what? We can all do that. If we shut it down before it even uh, starts to make root, right? Mm -hmm. Then we can, we can, um, you know, Jesus will take care of that for us, right, right? And being patient and waiting on Him. You know, I was saying that the other day. Uh, you know, um, I was saying it should be nice to have a little girlfriend to run around with yeah. and whatnot, and mm -hmm. talk about Jesus and just have a little companion to do things for. Not to get serious, but just you know, to have that going on. Mm -hmm. And I was thinking to myself, you know, I don't want one right. if it's not in your will, Jesus. That's right. Amen. And if it is in your will, put me in a place to where it's definitely, I can see it and it's yes. visible and that we're equally yoked. Amen. Amen. And so, you know, I'm just patiently waiting. You know, be. Even though it's, some, it's a desire that I would like right. just to have a companion and hang out with. We're going to talk about Jesus and spread God's Word today or whatever, or read the Bible together. What a beautiful thing when a couple could do that. Okay. And I was thinking about that, and I said, well, you know what? If it was left up to me, I'd pick the wrong no, one. Amen. That's right. And we wouldn't be equally yoked or anything. And so, um... You know, I wanted to, I wanted to touch on that because this is something that I'm going through. Yeah, right. Now, right. You know. So yeah. we thank you guys for coming, y'all. As always, we appreciate each and every one of you on the Soul That's Wars right. channel. <laughs> well, this ain't the channel. We're actually doing Soul Wars as a series. That's right. Amen. And uh, so I just appreciate Brandon, uh, you know, wanting to do this again and for us to, you know, put up the good fight. That's right, right brother. Because we're in a good fight and we want to make sure we go across that finish line yes. and we hear Jesus say, Well done, my faithful good servant. Amen. Amen. Thank y'all for watching. God bless. Stay tuned to the next one.